here. Paul is picked up. Uh, I smoke. I slept well. <laughs> Did you bring any food, by the way? No. Yeah, I got two I uh, falafel wraps if you want them. Yay! One for me, one for you. Going to Greenland. Yeah, Iceland. Well, I checked my bag. She made me consolidate my two carry hunts to one. Yeah, I'll, they say you can only take one, but dude, I've gotten away with three. They don't know what they're talking about. I, I snuck this in. So <laughs> he snuck in a second one. It's just noticing your boots. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to wear them. Paul's traveling super light. This is all this I'm winter carrying. boots. Jason, what are you excited about for, for Greenland slash Iceland? I didn't do as much research as you, so I'm gonna be learning like a lot. Cold, and they eat weird food. It's gonna be really cold. And there's like volcanoes and geysers and hot springs and stuff. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. Every time I go to this airport, I do this. I have to, I have to do this. <laughs> There's Jason. We're about to board. It's about an eight hour flight. Ladies We're gonna and gentlemen, get there. <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning. Oh, we're going outside. You can see your breath. <laughs> Dude, we're going outside, and I'm wearing slippers. Did you get it stamped? Did you check the stamp? I sta oh, no, I didn't check I it. actually didn't see mine. Let me see here. Uh, I don't even know where he stamped it. Yeah, that's it. That's the Iceland, Iceland stamp. Woohoo! I was told here, don't go here, because it's way too touristy. We're not going to go to the Blue Lagoon. No. But oh, the boy. Blue Lagoon? No, no, no. no, no. I heard it was awesome! No. Jason's waiting for his luggage. Oh wait, he found it. All right, we gotta meet up with David. Thank you, sir. There, there he is. is. Hey, David, man. Good seeing you, man. Four o'clock awesome. in the morning. Polar bears, right? No. No, okay. Well, they sometimes drift here from Greenland. All right, it is like 5.30 in the morning here in Kopovaur, uh, David's hometown. Supposedly it's like the second largest city in Iceland. But anyway, sometimes I like to go just for a little jog to scout out a new place that I've never been to. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Jogging with an expensive camera is probably not a good idea. Ooh, what have we here? Oh, it's a church. Kopovaur, I'm pretty sure that means Kopovaur church. Obviously it's probably locked, yeah, it's locked. Oh, this is amazing. You can see the whole city from up here. This church is on top of a hill. Uh, I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing right now. I'm looking up at the sky. There's an aurora borealis, but it's very weak. Uh, there's like a scale between one to five. I think this one's like a very weak 1.5. Dude, the Icelandic language is so complex. I've pretty much just given up on even trying to pronounce anything. However, I figured out a cool little trick. Just gargle some water and add a bunch of TH sounds. That's basically Icelandic. So I'm gonna take a shower. I haven't showered in like two and a half days since we left. And for a little side note, when you shower in Iceland, the hot water actually kind of like emits this sulfuric smell. Uh, a lot of people complain about it when they first come here, but you get used to it in like a day. Yeah, you can really smell it. Sulfur! You're gonna need long johns or compression pants. Got this from Bolivia. It's made out of alpaca. Stay awake. I don't even feel tired at all. <laughs> no sleep. Warm the body. <laughs> no sleep. No sleep at all. This is the kitchen. Oh. The dining room. These are our beds. Made out of couch. That's a room, and that's a room, and that's a room, and that's, that's a room. room. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's. Did he leave the door open again? Yeah, he did. He keeps leaving the door open. <laughs> it's so cold outside. Geography Auskir uh, hooked us up with this golden circle tour thing that goes to these notable spots. And it's really cool. We get to see geysers, we get to see a waterfall, we get to see a bunch of crazy cool stuff. 
So let's go on this bus, Sky Bus. <laughs> Largest natural lake in Iceland. Thing that weather thoga door. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can't I literally can't say any of these Icelandic words. This is uh a, a, this is the uh what do you call it? The tectonic plate convergence where it divides the North American plate to the Eurasian plate. Everybody wants to see it and there's like 400 people here. <laughs> and uh, oh, this, is, this is a level four on the poop care index in Iceland. Come on. Asian invasion. Dude, uh, so stoked to be in Iceland with you, man. Dude, so glad you came. You're the best guy to come along with. I haven't worn this jacket okay. since Finland, which was like three years ago. So in Iceland, they use these geothermal heating systems. It's lava powered. Heating system is right there, and the pump is right there. It pumps all of the heat into the people's houses in the village. Isn't that cool? They use volcano power. Fresh ice cream. This is about as fresh as it gets. Uh, we are in High Valley, Iceland. This place has been owned by a single family. It's a farm since the 1700s. They make the best ice cream I've ever had. This is rhubarb coconut. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. These people are really impressing us, culinary wise at least. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Guess where I am? Gudefoss. It's one of the largest waterfalls in all of Europe. Guys here, Guy guys here, guys here, guys here. The geyser that gave geysers the name geyser. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you so much, Alskir. We haven't even met you yet. Thanks, man. But you hooked this up for us. <laughs> totally. <laughs> In fact, uh, David. <laughs> well, someone's excited. Whoa. <laughs> So when in Iceland, you gotta try these two things. Head cheese, and this is, uh, how do you pronounce this again, David? Haukak. Haukak. Stuff with this one? Sure. Gelatinous meat product. Tastes kind of fatty. It reminds me of Spam. Reminds me of Spam. Yeah, it has a Spamish taste. Is this part of the eye? What is that? Is that the eye? Oh, property. Dude, I ate part of an eye. I don't like it. Well, then you're not gonna like what's coming. <laughs> Let's do the shark. Holy crap! Oh. This is what it looks like. Just fermented, rotten shark. Haukark. Haukark. Hmm. This is so disgusting. You put rotting fish into it. Why flavor. would anyone eat this? Okay, when you after you bite it, the aftertaste goes through your nose. Oh. <laughs> The, uh, the, the nose part is the worst. Ah! <laughs> I'm having water. I, need I, I have to finish though. Ah, uh, the worst. Mm. 
Mm, it goes through your nose. so disgusting. Oh, it goes through your nose. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's the worst part. You're a champion, dude. Um, after we leave, you can keep this in your fridge. You can have the rest of it, David. I don't think so. I feel like my mouth is coated with uh with uh ammonia. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. That eating that is like eating urine. Fin yeah, go for it. Maybe this will help get rid of this. This will help. This is maybe, gross. Maybe that gross head cheese will get rid of the gross how flavor. Mm. Cheers, dude. That was worth it though. So worth it. Oh my gosh, worth it. Reykjavik, we are here in Reykjavik. Morning, Jason. Ready to go to a black sand beach and a waterfall thing, and then Bjarki's gonna take us there, and then after that, Oscar is probably gonna take us to a hot spring area. Does that sound fun? Does that sound fun? Just look at this place Oscar hooked us up with. Oh my gosh, this has little buttresses on the wall and the ceiling, and it's it's on the top floor in the middle center of the city. Here with Bjarki. So what exactly is this place? The bridge between two continents. So which one is which? So right now we are on the Eurasian plates. Okay. And over there on the other side is the North American plates. Got it. Okay, so Eurasia, North America. Let's go to America. Iceland is just one big lava field, so you get all these volcanic rocks everywhere. Uh, I was told technically you're not allowed to take them with you, but uh... <laughs> Alright, this is Seljelandfoss, right? Seljelandfoss. Seljelandfoss. So in Iceland, virtually every creek and river and stream has fresh water. You can drink from it, like this. Good stuff. Oh snap! It's Eyjafjallajökull. The, the volcano exploded 2010, that thing. And there, right there, right there. Ah, oh, we're gonna see Icelandic horses. Icelandic horses. Iceland actually has a rule in which they cannot have any other horse on the island except for these. And these guys are world famous. So Bjarke, explain, why are these horses so world famous? Firstly, they're small stature, uh, small, robust. Uh, they're very robust animals. Yeah, they can survive anything almost. Well, there's a volcano next by, so they survive that as well. Oh, this guy. Look at that. Here's, this, this one's just done. He's like, nope. Um, no, I'm tired. Look at this. <laughs> I love that tuft of hair on top. Gonna meet with Ausgir. And how you doing? Hey. Hey. Double vlogging. How yeah. You doing? <laughs> Ausgir, how you doing? Soon, soon to be triple vlogging. Triple vlogging. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna vlog this too? Oh man, yeah. Sweet. Here with Ausgir. How you doing? Boom. Boom. Good. Please explain. What is your channel? What do you do? My channel is called Do More Ausgir. At the beginning, I, I just needed I needed a reason to travel more within Iceland so that I could do some trips for free and and that would push me to do more yeah. within Iceland. So I just want to say, like, I saw your channel, I saw your videos. The cinematography is amazing. It's mind-boggling. You guys, I totally recommend checking out his channel. If you want anything Iceland, this is your guy. He is Iceland's mascot. He's the <laughs> mascot of Iceland. So we're going to a hot spring that hardly anybody knows about. Yep. Ooh, okay. Screw you, Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah. I honestly think that not a lot of people even Icelanders know about this place. Yeah. So we arrive here, and then some other people parked right behind us. 
I don't know if they know about this place. I really hope they don't. I hope we're the only ones that know about this hot spring. I don't want anybody else knowing about this place. Whale Fjord Hot Spring. Yeah. Off to green land. Let's do it.